Good morning, students. Again, welcome back to physics class. Yesterday, we have discussed about in types of units. System of units. In that many system of units we are having, which we are presently using, which are called metric system of units, which one we are using presently the SI, why we are using what are the advantages of it. If we are writing the unit uh, in symbolic form, if we are representing what are the rules for it, that all we have seen this. With that. Some practical unit of length also comes. Some practical unit of length. So in yesterday class, smallest practical unit of length, largest practical unit of length we have taken. That is, uh, we have taken from Fermi to paralytic second. Fermi to paralytic second. So one Fermi is equal to 10 raised to minus 15 meter that you know, and one paralytic second is equal to 3.08 into 10 raised to plus 16 meter. So for largest unit, we are having three largest practical units for length. One is astronomical unit, another one is uh, light unit, another one is paralytic second. If you compare these three, astronomical unit is lesser than the light unit. Light unit is lesser than the paralytic unit. So yesterday I have given you the true conversion also to convert from light unit to astronomical unit, paralytic second to light unit. Yes or no? Hope you forgot, but I won't. So here, just when we are converting one light year, as we know the value, what we are one light year is 9.467 into 10 raised to 50 meters. We are converting this light year to astronomical unit. Just divide by one astronomical unit. Total value we are having one astronomical unit is 1.496 into 10 raised to 11 meter. Meter, meter, okay. 10 raised to plus 11. If I take to the first side, then it becomes minus 11. Minus 11 plus 15, 4. Right. So if I consider this is uh, 1.5. 1.56 okay. Are you ready? If I round up, suppose if I take this one as a 15 and this one is a 4.6, then 15 6 up and then making 15 point things up. So you'll get here 6.3 into 10 raised to Will you get? Okay. If I take astronomical unit, that so one light year is six point three into ten raised to four times four astronomical six point three into ten raised to four times of astronomical unit is become one light year. Okay. So same way, I have asked to convert word per second. That is the paralytic second. So one per second, how much we are having? 3.08 into 10 days to 16. Divided by one light here. If I divide, light here, how much we are having? 9.467 into 10 days to 15. Can I write this? If I shift the decimal point, then it becomes 30.8 divided by 9.467 as it is 
into 10 raise to 15 into 10 raise to 15. 10 raise to 15, 10 raise to 15, it cancels. 9. 0.4 is there, 9.5, 30 is there, this out of 3, can we divide, okay. 3, Point 0.1 if I take this side, the 9 is up, okay, 3.26, we get the value, just check, 3.26, we get the value, so 1, <laughs> Per parallelic second is equal to 3.26 times of light. 3.26 times of light year is becomes one parallelic second. Okay, just how do I have now? You can convert from astronomical unit to light year, light year to astronomical unit as we have seen already. Parallel second to astronomical unit, you can turn on. Astronomical unit to parallel second. The question arises in one meter, how many light years will be there? In one meter, how many light years will be there? The question arises. Which one is bigger? One meter is bigger or one light year is bigger? Light year is bigger. Very much. Right? The question now they used to ask. One meter equal to how many light years? Yes. One by 9.476 into 10 raised to 11. Okay? You take, then you get in terms of light years. Is it clear? Are you getting? Is there any problem? Okay. The question rises now. If the size of the gold nucleus is 4.3 Fermi, what is this? Or the radius of the gold nucleus, radius of gold nucleus is 4.3 Fermi, and what is the volume? What is the volume? So you shape it will be spherical. Then volume is equal to what we have? 4 upon 3, 5, and yes, sir. Yes, we have a subject. Are you getting it? Is there any doubt? No. Shall we go next? So above the length, we have taken the practical units. I want to take now. The practical units of area, practical units of area, write down some practical units, practical units of area. The smallest practical unit of area, smallest practical unit of area, smallest practical of unit of area, that what this to say, area of uh, nuclear process, nuclear process. That we are having, that what we used to call B A R M. B A R M. What we used to call bar. So 1 bar equal to 10 raised to minus 28 meters square. 1 bar is equal to 10 raised to. 10 raised to 10 raised to minus 28 meters square. The next step. large practical unit, practical unit 
of India. That is one acre is equal to four zero four seven meters square. So in this only you can write one hectare. One hectare is equal to ten raised to four meters square. Ten raised to four is nothing but what? Ten thousand. Ten thousand meters square. These are the practical units of what? Practical units of what? Area. Area. So next, sir, some practical units. Some practical units of mass. Joshi, some practical units of mass. So here, one ton or one metric that equal to Thousand kg, one quintal that equal to hundred kg. This word you have to remember. One slug, S U L G, that equal to fourteen point seven kg. One slug is equal to. Forty point seven kg. These are the practical units of mass. The largest, the largest practical unit of mass is one csl. Chandrasekhar Rao limit. One Chandrasekhar Rao limit is one point four times. Of mass of mass of sun, one point four times of mass of sun. So mass of sun, one point nine eight nine one into ten to thirty kg. Is the mass of sun there? One point nine eight nine one. Into 10 to 30, our cross is to take many times. 2 into 10 to 30. Then we will find out the mass of sun. Then mass of earth. What about that? Break it down. Mass of earth. Already you know. How much we are having? 5.978 into 10 to 24 kg. The mass of earth. Mass of earth. Okay. The lastest practical unit of mass would be that one. One Chandrasekhar limit. That is what value is 1.4 times of mass of sun. Mass of sun is 1.9891 into 10 raised to 30 kg. Okay. So now, smallest practical unit of smallest practical unit of Mass. Smallest practical unit of mass. That is, that is one twelfth of one twelfth of mass of carbon or one one carbon six. Twelve atom. That is one twelfth of mass of one carbon six twelfth atom. That we are having one atomic mass unit. Atomic mass unit. That is in short we need to write A M U. A M U. Right. Don't do mistakes. A M U. Whenever A M U comes, the, some students used to take L also. Mm -hmm. 
one atomic mass unit okay that value we are having that is the definition one twelfth of mass of one carbon six twelfth atom one twelfth okay so now we have one point six six into ten raised to minus twenty seven k remember this one point Six six into ten is two minus twenty seven kg. That is in the order of that is in the order of mass of proton and neutron. The mass of proton and neutron is in the order of atomic mass unit. Okay, this is represented also. One u, u, one u. The largest practical unit of mass we are having that is the shaker unit, and the smallest practical unit we are having the one twelfth of mass of one or one six twelfth atom that we are having one point six six into ten to minus twenty seven kg. Okay, so we have seen the practical units of length and mass. So in mechanics, the major one other will get that is time. Okay. Practical units of time. I say some practical units of time. Practical unit of time. Solar day. You know right? Solar day. How we are going to define solar day? Solar day. One day is equal to how many hours? Twenty-four hours. Twenty-four hours. Unpa? Okay. Solar day. Is the time taken by the Earth to complete one rotation about its own axis with respect to Sun? Solar day is the time taken by the Earth to rotate about its own axis with respect to Sun. Right now, with respect to Sun. If I take with respect to distant star, with respect to A, if the Earth is rotating about its own axis, a complete one rotation about its own axis with respect to distant instead of sun, with respect to distant star, if it is, then we used to call that is. Sidereal day. Sidereal day is greater than the solar day. Remember, sidereal day is greater than the solar day. Some fraction. With respect to, with respect to what? Distant star. Solar year. Solar year. How we are going to define solar year now? Time taken again. Time taken by the Earth to complete one revolution around sun. Time taken by the Earth to complete one revolution around sun. So that we used to call solar year. How many days? The average three sixty five point two five days. Average, okay. average, and average. Because as we know, uh, for every four years, one leap year we get. Leap year is nothing but that is dividable by four. Dividable by four leap year. Okay. Now, solar year. In leap year, another what we get. In the month of the February, I'll get the 29 days. 29, sorry, solar year. 
like that only central deep uh, central ear central ear central ear again the time taken by the earth to complete one revolution around the distant star so that is 6 60 6.25 years this one is greater solar year or central year central year by how many days one day are you getting central day central solar day central day solar year central next lunar month is also standard unit of time standard unit of time lunar month what is that lunar month only may have given up but it is only one month less than one month so let's see lunar month lunar month time taken by the moon to complete one revolution around earth around earth how many days it will be how many days it will be 27.3 days remember how many days 27.3 days that means to go lunar month this is all what we are having the largest factor in for time if you the standard unit for measuring the time what we are having second so one year if you convert to the second 365.25 day into 24 into 20 24 into 60 into 60 that will be converted into second so now here smallest unit for time smallest unit for which unit practical unit for time many friends will be there shape that equal to 10 days to minus 8 second shape one shape is equal to 10 days to minus 8 seconds the smallest practical unit of time are you getting it so we have to know some practical units of length mass time area right so let us see the practical units of pressure practical units of pressure one bar one bar that we call that equal to one atomic sorry one atmosphere okay one atmospheric pressure one atmospheric pressure one bar is equal to one atmospheric pressure one atmospheric pressure is equal to what we are having 760 mm of mercury column that equal to what that would be around 1.013 to 5 pascal okay i write directly 10 raised to 5 pascal who is this pascal again scientist so whenever we are writing the full name scientist full name as a unit then we have to start from small letter pascal okay? pascal is in top what pressure next sir, One floor, T double R, T O double R. One floor is equal to one millimeter of Hg column, Hg mercury column. Okay. One floor. So can I write one bar is equal to seven sixty tau? Yes, one bar is equal to 760 millimeter of Hg column. 
1 tau is equal to 1 millimeter of mercury color. Then can I write 1 bar is equal to some 60? So even I, I can write the tor in terms of bar. 1 tor is equal to 1 upon 760 into bar. Can we? Can we? So next year, 1 millibar. 1 millibar equal to 10 raised to 2 pascal. These are the practical units of pressure. Practical units of pressure. Any doubt? Any doubt? Let us see a small conversion. As an example, Let's see how many of you are going to solve. I want to ask again. Two kilometer per hour square. I want to convert in centimeter per second square. Two kilometer per hour square that I want to convert into centimeter per second square quickly I want answers to conversions yes I hope that you all got. So I will solve now. Go through it. Okay. Two kilometer. I write two as it is. Kilo. That is 10 raised to 3 meter. Hour square. So as we know, in one hour, there is a 60 minute. In a minute, 60 seconds. That is 3600 seconds. Yes, sir. One hour is equal to how many seconds? 3600 seconds. Then, can I, is a square, right? Then 3600 second whole square. Meter is there. Centimeter. One meter equal to how many centimeter? 100 centimeter. Then, can I write 2 into 10 raised to 3 already is there? This becomes 10 raised to 2. 10 raised to plus 2, plus 3, plus 5. Centimeter upon that is six square. That is six square. That is six into thirty six. Can I write here one two nine six? Into 10 raised to 4. Second square. Hope you got it. Yes. Are you getting? Is it clear? kg meter per second convert to gram centimeter per second Three into 5? 
kg to gram ten raised to three meter to centimeter ten raised to two. Then when you write directly three is to ten raised to five gram centimeter per second. Yes. Okay. Next. Thirty six newton. Thirty six newton is the representation of symbol in newton is correct. Correct. Is it? You have to convert English system we are having. Newton is S I. Then you have to convert to C G S. C G S system. S I to C G S. S I to C G S. Thirty six newton. Newtons mean newton unit. Even you can write one newton is equal to one kg meter per second square, right? The question is that thirty six kg meter per second square is converted into is converted into see this what we are writing gram centimeter per second. That's it. Again, we get the same. That is what 36 into 10 is to 5 gram per centimeter. Are you getting? So that is nothing but what we are getting one point here. One kg meter per second square. Whenever we are converting to gram centimeter per second square, that is 10 is to 5, right? So one newton is equal to 10 raised to 5 in CZ system. That in CZ system force is measured in time. Remember, one newton is equal to how many times? How many times? 10 raised to 5. Then one time is equal to how many newton? One time is equal to 10 raised to minus 5. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. Are you ready? Is it clear? Shall we move next? For example, for both, should not get the both because of that I have given for example some examples for conversion factor. So you are very good in conversion factor. Hmm? The question next. The next topic, I'll take here. Methods of measuring the two methods. Direct method in direct method. How many methods? Direct method in direct for measuring any physical. Okay. So now here, if I take measurement of length. Measurement of what? Measurement of length. For the measurement of length, we are having indirect method. We can take the instruments. Length is nothing but what? It is the distance of separation between the two points in the space. Separation. It is the distance of separation between the two points in the space. That means to call length. So now, in direct method, we can take the direct instruments. That is meter scale. Vernier scale. Hmm. 
टू गीच और अनदर वन में क्या स्पीरोमीटर 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 और मेजरिंग स्पीरोमीटर एस पी एच पी आर ओ एम ई टी ई स्पीरोमीटर स्पीरोमीटर इज अ डिवाइस टू यूज टू मेजर द कर्व सरफेसेस ओके कर्व सरफेसेस रेडियस ऑफ द कर्व सरफेस रेडियस ऑफ द स्पीयर और रेडियस ऑफ द स्पेरिकल सरफेसेस ओके the micros nano spirometers micro spirometers i can even me spirometers are available so what we are using lenses spectacles and that we are having the power lenses right so that power lens what should be the radius of aperture what should be the radius of aperture it will be different for different effects right so that should It is of the future we are going to find by using spirometers. So in practical, also you are going to take spirometer experiment is there for you, but in first year, but in practical life here we are. Okay. So now these are the data. So if I take meter scale, all of you observe right meter scale. So what is the value we are at? From where to where we can measure by using meter scale? Zero to hundred centimeter. Zero to thousand millimeter. Yes, sir. Zero to hundred centimeter. Zero to thousand millimeter. Zero to hundred centimeter. Zero to thousand millimeter. Zero to one meter. Are you getting? Okay. So most of you are observed. In a meter scale, start from zero. After zero, one centimeter, two centimeter, three centimeter, like that. Hundred centimeters we are having on the scale. Between zero to one centimeter, some divisions are there. You can take your scale. The pocket you are having, or the pouch you are having, this. Take it out. Take it out. Okay, very good. Just observe it. zero to one centimeter. There are some divisions, right? Just count how many divisions are exactly. Ten divisions. Exactly. Yes. In one centimeter, we are having ten millimeters. One centimeter. One centimeter equal to what? Ten millimeters. The smallest division we can measure by using that scale is the first division after zero. We can measure, right? If we are measuring that one, means the minimum value we can measure by using that one millimeter. By using direct measuring is what we are comparing. We can compare any object which is equal to one millimeter by using that scale. So above one millimeter, we can measure how many millimeters it will be. Up to thousand millimeters by using meter scale. Yes or no? Yes. Below that, I want to measure. Below that millimeter, one millimeter, I want to measure. Is it possible? Is it possible by using meter scale? But it's possible by one meter scale. So as we are having the least count of meter scale is one millimeter, the minimum. The minimum we can measure the least count of one meter is one upon ten millimeter. That means what? Point one. Point one millimeter. So by using one meter scale, we can start from. Point one millimeter to certain values, maximum twenty-five, 
or 15 centimeters is to be 15 into 10, 150 millimeter we can measure in one year scale. Or in some they are given uh, 16 or 18, like that different, different scales they have given. Then after that we can measure. From minimum mode we can measure 0.1 millimeter. By using one year scale, is it possible to measure less than 0.1 millimeter? No. From 0.1 millimeter we can measure. But 0.1 is not possible by meter scale. Are you getting? It's that we can measure 1 millimeter. Within that, if we are having, we won't get the accurate value by meter scale. But we can take, we can go through 1 meter scale. 1 meter scale is going to be spread for the last change. Less than this, if I want to take, then the least count of two gauge we are having, that is 1 upon 100, 0 0.01 meter. The screw gauge starts from this now. 0 0.01 millimeter. So, from which scale out of these three will be used? Which one will give the accurate value? More accurate values. Screw gauge. Are you getting? Are you getting? Okay. The least count of spherometer is also same as screw gauge. So, these are the direct methods. We are using for measuring the land mass. For measuring the land mass. For measuring the length, what are the indirect methods? Some indirect methods are there for measuring. In go and CRT. For measuring the certain accessible and inaccessible distances. Accessible and inaccessible distances. Indirect methods we are having. That is triangulation method. Triangulation method. In triangulation method, we are having two formulas for accessible accessible height and another one is inaccessible height inaccessible height accessible height means towers height of the towers right if I give the meter scale, if I say measure the height of the tower, will you? No. Huh? Yes. Trigonometry method. Yes. Okay. If I say the same thing by giving the meter scale, measure the height of the mountains, will you? That height of the mountains. The Mount Everest is possible to climb to everyone. No, no, that's climb. But it's to everyone it is possible. It is inaccessible. So such heights we used to call inaccessible heights. Okay. So both we are finding in indirect method by taking the triangulation method. Suppose if the Distance between the planets we are going to measure. Who will take the scale now? If I say oh, measure the distance between the earth and moon, are you going to take? So, distance between the stars from the earth, the distance between the planets from the earth. So, we can measure that is in indirect method only. One of the method famous method they are going to ask for your examination 19 words say the also that is remember parallax parallax method famous parallax method is the one of the method to measure the measure the largest one of, one of the indirect method to measure largest distance.
but it, even this has a range. The parallax method is valid up to 100 light years. Parallax method, by using parallax method, we can measure up to 100 light years. Then after that, other methods are there. Intensity method is there. Doppler effect method is there. Radar method is there. Other different methods are there to take the out of this. But parallax method is valid up to 100 light years. Okay. So what is the distance between the moon and the quickly? Have you remember? Have you remember? No. Then we are going to find out by using that. Let us see what is the distance, actual distance between the Moon height, uh, 3 lakh 84,400 km is there. Right? But we are going to measure by using parallax methods. Okay, so how many methods are there for measuring? Two methods, which are those? Direct and indirect. Indirect, we are going to take the instruments. And indirect, there are parallax methods. Okay, indirect, we are going to take the instruments. And indirect, there are different, different, phenomenons, different, different tools, different, different uh, uh, laws are there going to be applied to. Find out the large distances. Okay. Let us see one by one. The first one would be having triangulation method. Triangulation method. Tell me or what to stop. Okay. So we will discuss the tomorrow about the measurement of indirect methods. Uh, triangulation method, parallax method. We will see and different uh, other methods are there to measure the smallest size okay those also we will see tomorrow and uh, some standard definitions they have given uh, the textbooks for uh, fundamental units one meter one second one kilogram one ampere one kelvin okay one mole and one cannon right that I will not worry about it. Okay. Thank you. I will meet tomorrow and we will continue the methods of indirect, right? Methods of indirect for measuring the large. Thank you.